Playing Mario Kart Wii Mods online normally requires a physical disc, or to use the Dolphin emulator on PC. However, if you don't have either of those, I'm going to show you how to patch a game file with the mod, specifically Retro Rewind here, one of the most popular ones. So you can play online with everyone else, including me during my streams, where many of you have asked how to do this. No need to pay a random person 40 bucks for a 17 year old game. Here's what you need for the guide. You need a modded Wii or Wii U with USB Little GX or Wii Flow set up, including the corresponding forwarder channel. If you don't have that, I'll have my video guide on how to do so linked in the description to get started there. Next, you'll need a PC in order to run the programs needed to patch the game file. I'll be doing it on Windows, but you can also use Mac or Linux. The instructions are just a little bit different. If you don't have a PC to do it, maybe you can join my Discord and get some help there. And you'll need the actual game file itself of Mario Kart Wii, whether it's WBFS or ISO format. It's easy to get, but I can't tell you how on this video because we don't want the video getting taken down. So Sorry, but on a completely unrelated note, we offer help in the Discord server. But with that out of the way, let's get started. So in the description, I will have the links to where we're going to get our downloads. And we'll start off on the Retro Rewind Wiki. We're going to grab a couple things over here on the right side. We'll start off by getting the full download. So click on that. And if clicking that doesn't work, just right click, copy, and paste it in your browser and it should automatically start the download. If yours is like mine, thinking it's insecure, don't worry, it's safe, you can press keep, and it'll download that file. And also on this page, we're gonna get the ISO builder. This is what we're gonna use to patch the actual game file. So head over to the mega site, and just click download. Download a zip file. And while those are downloading, they are quite large. And before I get too ahead of myself, playing Retro Rewind this way is a little bit more inconvenient because every time there's an update, you have to repatch your game. So it's a great workaround when you don't have the disc, but you do have to keep in mind you have to be on the latest version to be able to play online. And you can see the current version right here. And if you're not in the Discord server already, the link is right here to join. I highly suggest you can get updates. Uh, they even run tournaments. They have chats, but most importantly, I think the updates are great to have as notifications. When ZPL releases an update, ZPL is the creator of the mod, by the way, he'll say if the update is required to continue to play online or not. So if it's just a small one, you should be fine without repatching the game. But if he says this, then you need to repatch the game. But now that we have the mod and the ISO builder, we no longer need this. It does have all the information on the mod if you're curious on reading up on it, but we can exit there. Next up is Wim's ISO tool. This is a requirement for the program that we'll be running. So on this screen, scroll down, and this is where it differs if you're on Windows, Linux, or Mac. I'm on Windows, so that's the one I will be following. But if you're on Windows like me, just grab the Win64, and that'll download. We got that, we can exit out. Lastly, we're gonna grab the Retro Rewind Channel Forwarder, created by Coat3767. The reason we need to get this is because we will get an error code if we try to load it through USB Loader GX. So this is going to be a channel forwarder on our Wii menu to load the mod through there. So just grab the corresponding channel forwarder. I'm using USB Loader GX, so I'm going to gra grab that one. And there we go. We got all our downloads. We can minimize. Open up your file explorer. And we're going to start off by installing the WIM tools. So go on the WIT file here. Open it up. It is a zip file, so you'll need a program to extract it. I use 7-zip. You want this folder, I'm going to drag it on my desktop. Once it's moved, you can delete the file. Minimize this, go into that folder that we just extracted. So run the exe file, click yes when Windows prompts you, and it will bring up this command. And once you see done, and the screen goes, goes away, it was very quick, that means it was installed. But now, we have to restart our computer for everything to be finalized. So go ahead and restart, I will do that quickly. All right, I've done a fresh restart. Open your file explorer again. Go to your downloads. Now we're going to open the Retro Rewind ISO Builder zip. You can place this anywhere on your computer. I'm going to place it all on my desktop. Once you're done with that, you can delete it. We'll move this one to the side. Open up that ISO Builder folder. That one to the side. In the ISO Builder folder, right click on Retro Rewind ISO Builder WIM Edition. Show more options. 7 zip. And extract two. It will extract the folder, go inside of it, and here we need to place our files. So we'll start off with placing the mod. So open up the Retro Rewind zip file right here and just grab the Retro Rewind 6, drag it inside. We'll let that transfer over and that's done. 
you can go back and delete the retro rewind zip and we'll save this for after we have patched the game so we'll minimize the file explorer and then now you need your mario kart wii iso file or wbfs file so go ahead and get that again but here's mine look at that it just says subscribe how crazy but when you have your wbfs file it can also be an iso file but we're going to drag this into the directory as well so once you have your game and your mod retro rewind we are ready to patch and also these files have a readme text with the instructions especially for if you're on mac or linux and you you want to make sure you're doing the right thing i can't really help you obviously because i don't have mac or linux but the instructions are also available to you through the readmes but once you have the mod and the game now's the time to patch the mod into the game so this will be region dependent these three files have japan pal or usa so then whichever region your Wii is, click the corresponding bat file, double click rather, sorry, so mine's USA, double click that one, this command will open up and it will begin patching your file. So just give it some time, I'll meet you when it's done. That took a minute or two, press any key to continue. You should see a new image folder here and there is your patched WBFS file for Mario Kart Retro Rewind. Now that we have the patched game, I'm gonna put it on my desktop. We'll save this for the setup. So I can close that, open up your USB drive you used to mod your Wii, open up your downloads again where this file is, open it up, and you'll see three different WADs here. So pick the one that matches your region, and on your USB drive, you should have a WAD folder. If you don't already have it, that's okay, just go ahead and make one. I already have mine here, but just place the Retro Rewind WAD inside. We can exit and delete the zip file. We're done with our downloads. If you don't already have a WAD manager, I'll also have a couple links down below. The first one is here for Yam Mod Me Edition. Scroll down and grab the zip file. If you use my guides to set up Homebrew, you'll already have this because it's an important part in doing so. But once you have that, open up the zip file and drag the apps folder onto the root of your USB drive. And there we go. Now we're able to install the forwarder channel if you didn't already have a wad manager and deleted the zip keeps the computer clean and lastly we need to set up our game again if you've if you use my guides and you know how to do this already feel free to set it up yourself install the wad and play it as a normal game if this is new to you i'll be walking you through that still so there'll be another link in the description for tiny Wii backup manager it'll take you here this works on windows mac and linux it's a very cool new program but just go to the releases here scroll down and i'm just going to get the portable you can get a version you can install but portable works just as good so download that one if you're on mac or linux you can download the corresponding file for you but once you have that we're good this one we're going to right click and extract it so show more options seven zip and extract two and you should see this folder pop up delete the zip go inside and just run this application right here if you get a warning, this program is safe, I've used it. So in this program, the first step is to add your base directory, which is your WBFS folder on your USB drive. Mine already has games in it, yours might too, or if this is your first game you're putting on your USB drive, don't worry, the program will create a WBFS folder for you. All we have to do is select our drive. Just click this icon here, pick base drive directory, go to your USB drive and select the WBFS folder. You can also just select your actual USB drive as well. If you have games already, it'll detect it like it did mine. And now click add game, locate the game that we patched. Mine's not coming up, it's on my desktop, so I'm paste it into my downloads. Open this up again and try again, add game. Locate it, the Mario Kart Retro Rewind, WBFS, open. And it'll be called Retro Rewind here, and in the bottom left, it will say the process. Right now it's 10%, so I'll meet you when it's fully transferred into that folder. And then once it transfers on, it should automatically get the covers for you. But now it should be fully transferred on if we go inside Mario Kart Retro Rewind. And that is the same file. It's just been set up so that USB Loader GX or Wii Flow can read it. We're done with this program. Our USB is fully ready to head over to our Wii, install the WAD, and get playing our game. I'll see you over there. And over in your Wii, go into your homebrew channel. Start it up. Find Yam Mod Me Edition. Load that app up. Select your source device, mine is my USB, press A, and install the Retro Rewind WAD, press A and A again, it should install pretty quick, press A to continue, press your home button, 
Press the home button again and exit to your system menu. And upon loading, we should have the Retro Rewind Forwarder channel. Bam. Just like that. That's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty simple, but it gets the job done. Just click it and you'll be playing Retro Rewind. As you can see, it loads USB Loader GX and then goes into the game. But just a reminder, if this is your first time loading it, it might kind of get soft locked on this screen. It's okay. Just power your Wii off and then just give it another try. Load the game up again. And there we go. On the second boot, we are on Retro Rewind. So go ahead and create a license and you can get playing. If you want to join myself or other Twitch streamers and play in some knockout tournament, it's a good time. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and keep an eye for when I go live. And if you want to play online, head into Retro WFC and you'll connect. Just run through the prompts. And there we go, we're on. But feel free to hop into a worldwide. Sometimes there's lobbies. If there's not, you can check out the Discord server, see if anybody wants to play. But there we go, we're in a lobby. It's up and we are playing online without the disc. Hey, it's Zorara. He also streams on Twitch. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out and I hope you have fun playing Retro Rewind. Peace out. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>